All right, let's uh, move on to another story now. Many more Kenyans have come out to record statements against Golden Scape greenhouses with the Directorate of Criminal Investigations. Victims say they were duped by Golden Scape greenhouses into investing hundreds of thousands and for some millions of shillings into what is now turning out to be a scam. Some of the aggrieved investors were left in shock after the company's Karen office was locked for the better part of today. And Oxicolia is on the trail of the agribusiness company that is at the heart of what appears to be a major scam. When Catherine Obuko saw an advert on television and social media promising to reap returns by investing in greenhouse leasing, she thought it might be worth a shot. The proprietor of Golden Scape Group Limited, Peter Wangai, had promised juicy profits to her and other investors in the greenhouses and other projects he was promoting. She saw a once-in-a-lifetime chance. What is someone up there? 380, we are going 8 by 30 meters piece of land. Ambayo atakutengezea wapande mimea, nona, wakuuzie. Then after six months, we are going to pay our pesa. ROI by return on investments, which is 275,000. According to the company's website, an investor pumping in 380,000 shillings will be allocated an 8 by 30 meters greenhouse. The sweetest part of it being that he or she is to do virtually nothing on the farm. His or her role is to pay in, relax, wait for six months and happily walk to the bank. One guy promised that such an investment will attract returns of 550,000 shillings per year, payable in two seasons. The contract was to run for three years. And with that, he lured investors into signing agreements where he recommended a six-month payback offer. Kwa hii Kenya sahi kupata return ya 275 after six months, I think inezakuwa ni bahati tu. With Golden Scape allegedly dishing out bouncing checks to investors in November last year and failing to honor the promise to pay in February, Catherine and others say enough is enough. They feel Peter and Guy scammed them and they unknowingly fell for it. They want DCI detectives to investigate the matter and have one guy pay back their capital and return on investments accrued. We just want him to bring back the money because he has that money. There's no way he has taken the money. He has the money, but he's planning to run away with it. A good number went to Golden Scape current office, but found the offices locked. No one was around. The company CEO, Peter Wangai, is nowhere to be found. And the number of those who continue to come forward with claims against the company continues to rise by the day. Anoxicolia. Citizen TV.